Here's how to make a simple password field in AppLab on code.org where you type in your password and either get in or you don't get in. And I'm going to show you how to make this now. From your dashboard, just click Create and App Lab to get started with an empty project. Go straight to design mode and we'll go ahead and lay everything out. We want a label that's going to say enter your password. Let's just give that the ID password label. Then you want a text input box. Give that the ID password input. Finally, you want to put a submit button underneath, any size or color you'd like. Give it the ID submit button. All right, let's go ahead and make our screen where you get in and screen where you get locked out. So we'll just come over here and make a new screen. And I'll call this one in screen. Give it a good color and I'll make it say you're in. Then let's add a back button. Let's call it in underscore log out btn. So it's the in screens log out button. I'm going to adjust some colors. Click on some empty space and duplicate the screen. This will be our out page. So let's give the screen a uh, out screen. Dang it, I'm on the button again. Let's come over here. Screen three is going to be out underscore screen. Now let's relabel this one. Out label. Password incorrect. Let's make this button instead of saying log out, let's make it say try again. Out button. And let's set the screen to red. Alright, so we've got our home screen. If they get the password correct, it'll go here. If they get the password wrong, it'll go here. So now we just need to do a little code. Now let's switch over to this screen, to the code, and we're gonna check whenever that submit button has been clicked. So if the submit button has been clicked, then we're gonna check if the password is correct or not. So first we need to make a password on line one. And let's just set it to turtle for now. Now we need to check if they've typed in turtle. So we're going to go get an if, and we're going to go to math and get an equal so that we can check two things. It's a double equal. We're going to say if what they've submitted is equal to the password. So password will go in the second blank. In this first blank, we need to get the value of what they typed. So we're going to go back over here and find a get property. Here it is. And we're going to get the property of the input password inputs value. Let me zoom out, so scoot this over so you can see it all at once. Okay, so if the value of this input box is equal to the password that you see here, then we want to set the screen to the in screen. So let's go get a set screen. That'll be the in. But if it's not true, then we need an else. So we'll click the little plus there. We'll set screen to the failed one. Let's try that. So my password now is turtle. We'll try that. Good. This button doesn't work yet. And now let's reset it. And try the wrong password. We'll do tortoise. Submit. Okay, that's working. So now we just need to get these two back buttons to work. So that'll be another set screen. If the, the out button is clicked, we need to come back here. And just a reminder, the out button is this one, right? We want to set it back to the screen. And now let's do it one more time. If the in button, and just to remind you, it's this one we're coding now. If this in button is clicked, we want to set the screen to screen one, the original home screen as well. All right, let's try it out. Turtle, good, and that'll log us back out. Ooh, look, the password's still there. Not very secure. Okay, and that button gets us back, but the guess is still there. So we need to remove the guess as soon as it sets screen right up here. So here's what we'll do. There's one in here called set text. Right here, set text. Let's put one on the if and on the else. And we want to set the input after we click the button, both of them, to just empty quotes. Let's see if that fixes our problem. So now if we type turtle and submit, 
when we click log out, the word turtle should be gone, and it is. All right, that works.